We are gathered here today to witness the matrimony of Jake Gottler and Fallon Von Seth. When I sat down with them to dig into what their perfect uh, day looks like, the very first thing that they brought up to me was how important you as family and friends are to their lives. I know I speak on behalf of both of them when I say thank you from the bottom of their hearts for being here to support and celebrate them today. Companionship will look a little different for every couple. One can imagine that between you, Jake, and you, Fallon, it will look a little something like this. A bit of banter from Fallon met with the calm, patient musings by Jake. <laughs> Dreamings over their latest tasty breakfast find or meme searching whilst still lounging in bed. <laughs> Exploring with Dylan, whether it be at the fair, roller skating, snow tubing, or hopping on a plane to some cool place. Backyard beekeeping, hosting of friends and family, likely with a dog or two, and a Maine Coon cat if Jake has his way. <laughs> and making a joyous home together wherever you may land. Shortly you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. I can't promise that we'll always agree on things. We won't. <laughs> but know that I will always truly listen to you to try to understand your perspective and that no matter what, I'm on your team. I can't promise that things will always go our way. In fact, I know it. If you look at the weather last night. <laughs> but know that being the pillar of support for our family is my life's mission and one that I take very, very seriously. I can't promise I'll be perfect. You're looking at me like you know that. I will not let myself be anything less than the man and partner you deserve. Babe, there's a lot I can't promise and a lot I don't know and a lot I can't predict, but I can promise to be unshakable in my loyalty to you till the day that I die. I can promise to love you, to pick you up when you're down, support you, challenge you, and always be your rock. Jake, thank you for picking me. <laughs> thank you for supporting me and cheering me on. Thank you for listening to my ideas and my venting and my stories. Thank you for caring for our pets like our children. Thank you for being super hot <laughs> and making the best BLTs. You are an amazing father. You're so smart. I think I learned something new from you every day like what Steven Spielberg's net worth is. <laughs> so Jake, I promise to let you shake the bed laughing at night, looking at funny things you find on Reddit if you let me open mouth snore next to you. <laughs> I promise to continue to pluck your unibrow for you, even though you hate it, because we both agree two eyebrows are better than one. <laughs> <laughs> and you must promise to never let me get bangs at some point, I will be convinced they will look good on me. They will not. Don't let me do it. I know. I know. I promise to be the best husband, dad, dog dad, assistant vacation planner, partner, and human that I can be because that is what you deserve. You make me better. You make me so happy in every single way. And to top it all off, you're really hot. <laughs>
I give thanks every single day that we found each other. I love you so much. I'm so happy I get to look at memes in bed with you every night and get up with you every morning to get coffee. I look forward to my future with you and Dylan. I pray there are self-driving cars in that future because you truly are the worst driver. <laughs> <laughs> and we're equally terrible with directions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also in that future, I hope we have a million more exciting experiences together because nobody makes me happier or laugh more. And you're the best part of every day for me. I love you. We have good ideas. When I say something funny, you laugh. I think I'm funny and you think I'm funny too. Ha ha. <laughs> it must have been lonesome The I like you because, because, because I forgot why I like you, but I do. For a lot of you who have known me for a very long time, when my dad passed away, it left a very big hole in my heart. And a lot of you were there for that and supported me through that. And as life went on, I had Dylan, I don't know if he's around here, but the, 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 the hole got smaller and as a dad, and there's always that one, one missing piece, and you are that piece, and you came into my life, and I've never felt more complete, and I love you so much, and I'm just so thankful that all of you are here to share that with us tonight. I'm so proud of you, and I want to tell you I love you all. Alan, Jake, I love you. Congratulations. Get married, get it over with, and have a baby. <laughs> we just wish you the best. We're sorry we can't be there. We did get dressed up for this video. Yeah. And I just want to say that, um, you know, we've been happily married for 14 years, uh, but married for about 17 years. Happy wedding day. You found Jake and you guys are stupid, perfect together and happy and it's gross and everyone's gonna have to see you kiss tonight and thank God I'm not there. Jake is on Bumble one day and he's like, oh look, it's Fallon from KDWB, should I match her? And I said, yeah, like she's gonna match you. <laughs> and then she did. <laughs> he, he'd tell me about dates he's had and stuff like that. And then he was saying, he's like, yeah, I met this girl, Fallon. The way he talked about her was just different. I could kind of tell. I was like, oh, they might be, uh, might be something serious. And so I was just very excited. And then you met my brother who I love more than anyone. As Jake said, we lost our dad really young. <laughs> And Jake stood up and he he had my back through every single thing. And all I've wanted is something beautiful for him because he deserves it. He's done everything for everyone and he works so hard to be the best person that he can. And then he met the best person that he could. and Jake. First, I'd like to welcome Jake and Dylan to the family. We're grateful God placed the two of you in Fallon's life. I've prayed really hard for God to place someone in her life that could challenge her, support her, be her best friend, and make her extremely happy. I've never seen her so, so happy and joyful and giddy in my life. It makes me extremely happy to know that she has found her true love. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, loved ones, it's with great pleasure that I now ask you to bless and celebrate the marriage of Jake and Fallon. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs>